We're live in Studio B. Jerem Jordan, Jason Shepard. Let's welcome in Chad Lewis to the program, who is donning an old school replica. That's amazing. Jersey. This it is looks... what we're wearing tomorrow night under the lights. So it says Lewis on the back. <laughs> Heck yeah, I see it. Oh, spinning all the way around. There we go. Beautiful. There it is. Look at that 360. He's not wired up. See, he can spin around. <laughs> How sweet was that to see Max Hall throwing a fellow tight end, Andrew George, for a walk off touchdown to beat the Utes? Good clip. Now, now here, yes, it was. Now, here's the risk in having this game. Max said it last week. He goes, I don't want the last memory of me being in this alumni <laughs> game. I want it to be from 09 versus Utah. But this is going to be a ton of fun to have all the guys back. His legacy has been established. I think he's the most winning player that's ever played here. He's just competitor. Love that dude. It's fun that he's coming back. This is, this is alumni day, so everyone's coming back home. It's more than just the game. It's more it's than just day. a game. Yeah, it's all day. There's going to be uh, a lot of get-togethers, lunches, dinners, whatever. And this is a way for us, alumni, to give back to our, our younger brothers. You, you, you choose to come to BYU. You're in the brotherhood. There's no cool guy clicks. There's no these are the popular football are you players. Sure? The quarterbacks hang out a lot. I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're on the team. You're part of us. We're one family. So you're going to see people on the sidelines having fun in the stands like – it's, this is one big family. It's a brotherhood, and that means it means something to us. Well, and you you were telling us that obviously we've seen a lot of the names that are going to be participating in the game, but you're saying there's going to be so many more people that have ties to BYU that bleed cougar blue that are going to be there that aren't even going to be participating. Right. They don't want to be pulling hamstrings tomorrow night. They just <laughs> want to be there having fun, seeing each other. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people there all day tomorrow BYU. You want to come down? It's free entry. Come in and uh, party with us. What, what's good. the genesis of this? How did this the game part of it? Like how how because games have existed yes, in the past. Like, but I, I've got yeah. to assume there was probably a little bit of hesitation for being like, wait, you you want us to do what? <laughs> <laughs> there typically there's a blue and white game. All right, and they've several times they've done a little flag football game or you know. This time, this is um, central stage. I mean, there's no blue and white game. The practice is going to be from 3 to 5. There will be a dinner. Then after that, we'll, we'll play the game. So it's a way to bring alumni back. It's a way to remind alumni. It's a chance for us to give back to the program. Um, you see Andy Reid coming back last week. No, no greater lover of BYU than Andy Reid. And he tells his team. He tells the media. He's not shy about it. He's very proud that he came to BYU and embraced this brotherhood. He's He's part of it. There were some cool photos uh, last week of him walking around. Was what, what was that visit like uh, for him? And I know Jack DeMooney got the uh, driver status. Yeah. So, so he's like, yeah, I just wanted to talk with Andy the whole time. It was awesome. Yeah, it was cool. Taxi cab uh, Jack. <laughs> the greatest. To have Andy ever. come back and speak to the guys, speak to all the coaches. And as soon as he starts speaking, he, he has a head coach presence. And it was that way when he spoke to the high school coaches, and it was that way when he addressed the team. You look at him, and he's Andy Reid, and then when he starts speaking, he's Andy Reid, head coach. And there's, he's, got this, he's got this great presence, and, but absolute humility. He is exactly who he is. He doesn't pretend to be anyone he's not. He cares about his family. He cares about football. He cares about BYU, loves the Chiefs. He's, it, was, it was so cool to be with him, talk to him, and... And I had the lucky fortune to play for him for seven years, and we still talk all the time. Like, his, his ability to communicate with his players, current and past, is unparalleled. You, as you mentioned, you have the personal history with Coach Reed, and then at the end of last year, your son-in-law, Matt, was part of the Chiefs. What's, yeah. his, what's his situation? Is he planning on going to camp with the Chiefs? What, where, where's uh, Matt's situation right now? He's on the Chiefs. The backup tight end got hurt in the AFC Championship yep. game, so he would have played in the Super Bowl. Um, he would have dressed in the Super Bowl? Yeah, he would have been saying? playing. Correct. He would have been on the fixture. Oh, That's oh right. my God. I know, I know. He's right there. So he's going back. He'll be there for the offseason training. He's on the team. He's going to have a great opportunity. Here's the, here's the gift of playing with a great tight end like Travis Kelsey. You... He's going to draw coverage. If you can be the opposite tight end and on the field the same time as Travis, that means you're going to get the worst cover defender on the field, whether it's nickel, whether it's linebacker. You're going to be able to showcase who you are. So I think Matt is going to have a great opportunity this year 
to showcase his speed, his hands, things that you can't coach, you can't teach. He was born with those things, so I can't wait to see what he can do. That's exciting. So in the matchup with you and Atula Mili, who got the worst cover defender then? <laughs> it was we, – we <laughs> traded spots, and we knew how to get each other open. We knew each other, how we moved, yeah. and we knew the offense so well. Coach Chow put us in great spots, and Steve Sarkeesian lit us up. So, I mean, we were just – every game felt – to us felt like a track meet. It was like, let's go. It was that, so fun. That was a great answer to avoid saying which one of you is the number one. That was fantastic. He's a beast. He would have been first, second round pick if he did not blow out his knee in the WAC championship game. Would have been that high. That's and awesome. I went in as a free agent, healthy and hungry. I was given a great opportunity. I played nine years in the pros. He played nine years in the pros. So um, for us to play on the same field again tomorrow night, to be teammates again, <laughs> This pumps me up. That's pretty Eat cool. Eat to the mealy, yeah. baby. That's <laughs> there, pretty cool, man. Is there somebody that maybe you haven't seen in a while that you're really excited to see tomorrow night? Um, I got the list of all the people here. Um, and just looking at the list of who's coming back, I'm pumped to see every one of them. Reno Mahe, he was a teammate of mine at Philadelphia. Love Reno. And we had so much fun. That dude was a great teammate. But all these guys. Brian Keel, I played with his brother, Ed. Um I, lo I love looking at every one of those names. Curtis Brown, he had himself some triplets. Harvey Onga, Fui Vakapuna, Max Hall, they're all coming back. My quarterbacks, Kevin Federick, Charlie Peterson. Let's go. Do you have to get Kalani a touchdown being on the Royal team? Like, are you obligated so. to try and set yeah. him up? Want to, yeah, yeah, I think that's right? cool. Yeah. Haven't even thought about that, no, but no, no one's cool like, that you thought about that. Like, strategically, the Navy can't, like, prevent that. Right? He needs a it touchdown. Has to happen, right. Right. For a, guy, for a guy that had a ton of great blocks, had some touchdowns. <laughs> That's right. A good blocker, right? We're talking to Chad Lewis on BYU Sports Nation. Let's talk about uh, Taysom Hill here. It's announced. Uh, Dennis Allen's like, eh, I want you to play tight end. <laughs> you know, we wish you could play quarterback here. Obviously, he's so versatile. We know all that. As a former tight end in the NFL, how can Taysom become, because once he embraces a role, he goes after it hard, a great tight end in the NFL? Well, uh, Coach Allen talked about him being an F tight end, so a move tight end. So similar to what he's been doing as a Swiss Army knife, he'll continue to do. So Tell me the difference basically, between F tight end and others. It's just what they're saying is we're not going to put Taysom on the line with his hand in the dirt blocking defensive ends 60% of the time. We're going to put him on the field to catch, to carry the ball, to throw it if we have a trick play, um, but to be a weapon. So they're not going to waste him. Um, turn him into a mule when he's a stallion. He's, he's one of the most enjoyable guys in the NFL to watch because he can do so much. His speed, quickness, power ratio is um, – he's not from planet Earth, I can tell you that. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's a beast. And so the, the big news is that Coach Allen was just saying he's not going to be a quarterback. That is big news. I, I, think, I know he's a quarterback. He's a winner. Um, but he's going to embrace this opportunity. He's going to rip it. Your shirt right there demonstrating what he can do to the you know great players. So I'm, I'm really excited. Love him. One of the things that's been really fun, especially over the last couple of years, is the sheer number of former Cougars that are in the NFL. And it's not just taking up a roster spot. We're talking about guys starting Zach Wilson, Fred Warner, for, Kyle Van Noy. The, we what have does that players. mean for this program? It, it says that BYU's done a good job of recruiting talented guys that have the ability to go to the next level if they stay healthy and work hard. And that's what's happened. And you're seeing guys work. No one's ever watched more tape than Zach Wilson in the history of BYU football times 100. And the talent level, if you look at, you know, we just talked about Taysom, but Fred Warner, starting middle linebacker, taking his team to the Super Bowl, his speed, his athletic ability is really off the charts. Kyle Van Noy's ability to make plays and – um, guys at every position going out, showing out, um, really playing well. That's, that shows, says a lot about our coaches, about this program, and hopefully that continues. The more guys we get in the NFL, the more recruits want to come here and play for BYU. Talking to Chad Lewis on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, Tyler Algier is the next guy, and oh, hopefully man. some other guys, right? Uh, James Empey and Neil Powell with Samson Nakua. We'll Samson see. had a great pro yes, day. Yes, he did, absolutely. As seen on uh, BYU TV here. With Tyler, uh, is there a team that you think would be a good fit, or is there a round that makes sense for him as a draft pick? It was interesting when Andy was here. Andy knew exactly who Tyler was, watched him and said, hey, um, 
Eric Bieniemy, my off- offensive coordinator, loves you. Here, talk to him. <laughs> and, and so Tyler at the table talked to Eric for 10 minutes, you know. Jason, and just uh, is a Chiefs fan. Around. Is a Chiefs fan. That's music to my ears. So. Look what Tyler can do. He can play special teams. He can play running back. He finishes games with speed. He has field speed that he's proved game in, game out. He has the speed to go the distance. That's, that's, that's a skill that he's got. He's a workhorse and he's humble. He's exactly what 32 NFL coaches want. Someone who's willing to come in and go to the special teams coach and say, put me in, coach. He's a guy who's willing to say, give me the ball, either hand off or throw it. Let me prove to you I deserve to be here. I mean, he's, he's a special human being. Man, what, what a great story. Absolutely. Without Historic question. Amazing. What, uh, what story. What's been your impression of, uh, of spring football and, and what gets you excited about this upcoming season? Uh, here's my impression of spring football. When you have a returning quarterback with a lot of confidence that's as good as Jaron, you have an exceptional team. And then when you combine it with an offensive line that's as big and deep and long as these guys, with Kingsley coming back and um, Blake, all, all those guys are really big. They have tons of experience. That offensive line is what drives the strength and success of your team. So those two positions that I'm looking at, and then you know Chris coming in from Cal, he's had a great camp. Um, you got receivers like Puka and Gunner that are anchoring. You got a you got a defense that's hungry. They've been banged up. They're coming off of surgeries, but those dudes are hungry. They want to prove it. I think spring ball has been been exceptional. I'm looking forward to the challenge that is uh, fewer power fives, but probably better power fives. Because Arkansas is going to be good. Baylor won the Big 12. Obviously, Notre Dame and Vegas is going to be huge at Oregon. Who's our I second mean, game? Uh, second game is uh, Baylor. Baylor. What happened last year in that game? <laughs> didn't, didn't go like we wanted, right? That was a tough contest. Yeah. Yeah. That was a well-coached on both physical. sides. That was a beast of a game, and our guys are looking forward to that game. That's a big game. Yes. They, they just like 83 84 we owe, owe Baylor that's true <laughs> we don't believe if we don't believe in uh, you know re- redemption we don't believe in President Lee said something so funny in the locker room against uh, we're playing Arizona State he said we don't believe in retribution but we do believe in paying our debts Let it go, <laughs> <laughs> it was what so a great good. quote that's yeah. funny okay well Chad we appreciate the time uh, best of luck make sure you stretch out tomorrow for the game and we're looking forward to multiple touchdowns in the corner yeah no yeah. heroes tomorrow no pulled muscles just <laughs> catch a ball have fun and uh, just enjoy being with my teammates no heroes tomorrow tell that to Mitch Matthews Brandon Bradley these guys are going to try and win they're MVP still young and game. limber they can go for it it's true <laughs> if they if they pop a muscle they can they is can Brandon heal Brandon still young and limber question mark he's still young okay and limber. Yeah. yeah bring it on yeah I, I love Brandon okay thanks Jeff thanks go Chad. Cougs. <laughs>